Welcome and I hope you're having a fantastic day. In this episode, I'm going to cover what a CLT is, a community land trust. So what is a CLT? Well, it's a solution for Australia. I'm sure you're all aware of the issues that we're facing in the property market in Australia. And a CLT is a proven method of providing perpetually affordable home ownership. We've developed a shared equity arrangement between a community or not-for-profit organisation and the homeowner. Typically that shared equity is a 20% for the community organisation and 80% for the resident. CLTs have been very successful in the US since the 1980s. The first one was started in 1969 and then they really rapidly propagated across the uh, US through the 1980s and uh, on from then. And in the UK, they've uh, been going since about 2007. You can actually see here in these um, two maps, uh, the approximate location, these are a little bit old now, but the uh, US in excess of 240 CLTs and the UK also in excess of 240 CLTs. In Europe, the CLT movement is also starting to produce some community land trusts and you can go to our website and see some of the links to the CLTs uh, that are happening all around the world. Our website, just in case you don't know, is communitylandtrust.com.au. Key features of a CLT. So a CLT offers a large reduction in mortgage costs to the resident. Part of that is because of the 20% equity share that goes in. That allows uh, typically the avoidance of lender's mortgage insurance. Also because the resident's only paying back a mortgage on 80% of the property instead of sometimes people are getting up to 95% loans, the repayments are obviously uh, less as well. The owner gains equity. So instead of being a renter where you don't gain any equity in the property, all of your rent goes to the landlord, when you own a property under a CLT, you're paying down a loan, you're paying the principal and interest payments. So that principal that you're paying down when you sell the property, that can be recouped. Also, any capital gains that are achieved, a portion of those go to the resident. However, this next point, the high, a high proportion of those capital gains actually go to the CLT. They remain with the community organisation. Typically, 75% will stay with the uh, not-for-profit organisation and 25% will go to the resident. The purpose of this deed restriction is to ensure that affordability is passed on to future purchases. And this is something really important because what we tend to find in Australia is as property prices go up, gentrification occurs and people are forced out of the communities that they've grown up in. I've experienced the very same thing myself. The other nice uh, thing about CLTs is the community involvement and support that the, that the Community Land Trust offers and many of them also provide training, many different types of training but budgeting and, and other, other types of things depending what the community focus is. CLTs offer a flexible model which can encompass single family homes, town homes, apartments, rentals, co-ops and even commercial and agricultural land. As a matter of fact, the, the very first CLT in the world, the, the one in 1969 in the US, was actually a, a farm. So a CLT is a solution for you and your community. There's a lot of information available on our website, uh, or you can contact me at andrew at communitylandtrust.com.au and I'd uh, love to provide you with further information or any help you might need. Have a great day.